12 clever living room furniture ideas and arrangement. Completing dozens of living room theme videos I already published on this channel, I will present you 12 alternatives on how to get new respect from renewing your living room layout. I bet you won't like them all, but I suggest using the comment area if you do. Let's start the countdown, and as always, SempHome.com is presenting you with this list. 12. Start with simple furniture arrangement tips. When square footage is limited in your living room, go for smaller furniture pieces. For example, there's no point in a large sofa, no matter how beautiful it is, if it will look out of place and take up too much vital space. Balancing scale is crucial not only for appearance, but also for a better flow of movement. The same goes for where you put your furniture. Consider how you will use your living room. Are family activities your priority, or is it more of welcoming guests, socializing, or relaxing? So base your arrangement on that purpose without necessarily compromising the others. 11. Avoid common mistakes and learn how to fix them. Part 1. The living room is a multifunction area. Naturally, finding the optimal layout isn't easy, and we're bound to make some mistakes. Among them is making it uncomfortable to socialize. You want to arrange some seating where people can conveniently face each other. Sometimes it isn't large enough to fit more tables. Try adding tiny surfaces like end tables or even a garden stool. A large glass table will free up visual space and hold more items. However, don't try to stuff it with too much furniture. Ensuring the right spacing is more important. Also, pick an area rug large enough to tie in all the seating into a cohesive hole. It will help define activity areas in your living room especially if you group related functions together. 10. Avoid common mistakes and learn how to fix them. Part 2. More common mistakes are lining furniture along the walls or putting most of the large ones on one side. Not only will it look odd and dull, but it's highly inefficient. Be more daring and pull some of those sofa chairs in the open. That way you get a more comfortable and appealing layout. However, never place the sofa with its back pointing towards the entrance. That's not very welcoming. The key is to balance object placement and spreading the largest ones evenly across the room, instead of lopsided arrangement. Another thing to remember is not to impede traffic flow. It forces people to go around furniture or risk knocking things down. Finally, don't rely too much on overhead lighting. It's unflattering and creates gloomy shadows. Instead, mix up your lights with some wall, table, and floor lamps. 9. Four sofa arrangements to maximize your living room layout. Let's start with a small space. You can have the sofa opposite the wall with a TV or fireplace and two chairs facing it diagonally. For a coffee table, try nesting ones you can pull out whenever you need them. Ideally, in a formal arrangement, people will be facing each other on two sofas on opposite sides of the room. Again, two chairs near the TV can be facing them diagonally. You can even add a sofa chair on the far wall facing the TV. Next is the open arrangement where the living room shares space with the dining area. Place two sofas in an L configuration with one acting as a divider from the dining set. Two chairs can be beside a window across that sofa. Lastly, there's the double layout where a console table in the middle separates two sofas facing away from each other. It will separate two activity areas, maybe one for entertainment and the other for guests. 8. Stick to all white walls. Applying fresh coats of white paint to walls is arguably the most budget-friendly way to dramatically make over a living room. It's a great starting point for decorating, as it's relatively easy to match with anything. White walls make an excellent backdrop for any other color scheme. It will make furniture, fabrics, and decor pop out more and give you more freedom to experiment. The brightness will also make a living room feel more open and spacious. That's because light bounces off better on bright surfaces and you can't get any brighter than white. The color is also better at diffusing light than any other. On the other hand, dark walls tend to make rooms feel tight. 7. Install Hanging Shelves Rope shelves will help you achieve a rustic look in your living room. First, drill holes on each shelf corner big enough to fit a rope snugly. Use two long pieces of rope strong enough to carry the load. Insert both ends of one in separate holes on one side of the top shelf. Tie a knot under each hole to the height you want. 
Then do the same for the other end of this board with the other rope ensuring that it's level. Repeat the process for each board until you reach the bottom one. You can hang the rope shelves on two heavy duty hooks mounted on the ceiling. Six, pick furniture with exposed legs. There are advantages to picking furniture with exposed legs. First, they look more lightweight and sleek and not bulky like other furniture. It will help make the living room look roomier than having chunky ones. Another reason why exposed legs make it feel more spacious is letting you see the floor, thus enhancing that open and airy feel. Sometimes the piece is tall enough to let you put decor and plants underneath. You don't have to push the furniture to reach all the dirt and dust underneath. It's even convenient for increasingly popular robot vacuums. 5. Go for a corner booth Corner sofas can save you money and space. It's more affordable than buying two in an L configuration or adding two armchairs. It also maximizes a corner and provides more seating while ending up with more room. With fewer armrests, it lets you slide down more comfortably. It's perfect for families and socializing with friends and guests when seated near each other. People tend to gravitate towards it more than any other seating, so expect it to be used the most. For an even smaller living room, a regular sofa pushed into the corner could do the trick. 4. Angle your furniture Typically, most homeowners place their furniture parallel or to right angles to the walls. A terrific way to break the monotony and enhance the layout is to angle some furniture and seating diagonally. It makes the room more dynamic and less rigid or formal. The arrangement becomes more exciting and is more eye-catching when entering the room. Angled seating provides cozier and more comfortable conversations. It lets people face each other while talking more conveniently. Sometimes it will help improve the traffic flow to an oddly shaped room. It can also allow better viewing of the TV screen or help focus on a focal point. 3. Keep it minimal Designing a layout and decorating a living room can be a lot of fun. Sometimes we have a ton of ideas and are excited to try them all. However, there's a tendency to go a bit overboard, and we end up stuffing the room with too many things. One of the cardinal rules of interior design is keeping things balanced, whether for scale, colors, or layout. That goes for quantity as well. You can achieve that better with the fewer items to juggle. Not only will the living room be simpler to design, but it will look uncluttered, easier to maintain, and also help improve traffic flow. 2. Add a tool bookshelf a bookshelf with a frame made of black square tubing and glass shelving would be a fantastic decorative piece in a living room. It provides an elegant way for you to showcase your favorite decor, art, sentimental items, and books. Besides providing more storage and organizing clutter, the furniture itself is very appealing. The open design allows you to see past through it including the walls behind. For that reason, it should help to make the room seem more spacious than a typical large bookshelf with sidings. This type of bookshelf with its stylish open design would complement any minimalist modern living room. Lastly, number one, for small and narrow living rooms, this optimization insight would be super helpful. Since the space is so limited, you must get the measurements down pat. If you know the precise dimensions, you'll quickly realize if things won't fit or work. Always place the sofa on the widest wall. If the seating arrangement looks off, use an area rug to tie them together visually. Don't forget to place furniture at the center of narrower walls, especially at the far end, to balance the layout. However, take care not to impede movement when rearranging furniture. Traffic flow should be your priority, especially in such a confined area. And speaking of small spaces, you must remove all clutter. Not only will it free up space, but it will also make it feel roomier visually. If possible, don't place a TV right in front of the sofa. It will make the area between them more cramped. Place it instead on a narrow wall, but never in front of a window. If you can't add more horizontally, go vertical and make smart use of wall space. You can add shelving or raise your curtains to the ceiling. Conclusion When designing a layout for your living room, think of a clustered one to separate different activities in that room. It's more organized that way and will help ease the flow of foot traffic. It's better than having a centralized arrangement revolving around the main seating area, but restricts movement and makes interaction awkward and uncomfortable. 
If there's a unifying theme in the ideas presented here, it's how to make the living room more spacious and have a layout that works for its size. If you found this helpful, you can discover many more useful ideas for your home by visiting SempHome.com. That's it for now. Before you leave, support this channel by pressing subscribe button under this video. Like it, comment it on it, or share it with anyone inside your social media circle. Keep us in your subscription tab to find other clever ideas on how to revamp your home and garden. And until we meet again later sometime in the future, thanks for watching.